Hello everyone, how are you? I am very glad to see you in this new lesson. So today we are going to see my goldfish. So how many of them know about goldfish? See, goldfish is the freshwater fish. Okay, it the people are telling that it is from uh, from East Asia. See, actually China people they they were using this goldfish like nearly two thousand years ago. Okay, as a ornamental fish in ponds and tanks, they were seen as a symbol of luck. Luck means uh, fortune, like something happen, good, uh, something good happening. So they could um, keep this for blessings, like that. They were having these fishes. See, not all the uh, gold fishes in gold color. There are in different colors also. So um, they are in orange, red, yellow. So there are different types. See, first, you know, uh, from this uh, south. Uh, uh, this Asia, uh, East Asia, it moved to Europe, then to United States of America. So all like they all were fond of this goldfish. Okay, so goldfish can live for long periods of time if they are fed a varied diet and housed in proper water conditions. So goldfish ha also have uh, two sets of Paired winds, the swimming things which have no that fins and three sets of single fins. They don't like what to they don't have sensory organs. Okay, so some fish have that act like taste buds also. Okay, the average lifetime of a goldfish is 10 to 15 years. Goldfishes are uh, they live as a pet in fish tanks and man-made ponds they are freshwater fish they can't live in salty water okay so this fish are known for having large eyes gold fishes all have big big eyes and great sense of smell and hearing see their ability to hear comes from small bones near their skull that link their swim bladder and their inner ear. Okay. See, if um, if you clean the tank with your hands, the by the touch only, it can uh, understand, it can keep that memory that the person who is lifting you, who is touching that goldfish, like it is up to uh, three months uh, they are telling that it can make, it can recognize uh, the people, person. Okay. So, it eats both plants and animals, uh, fish animals, fish, water animals also. Okay. So, this is what the um, fact about goldfish. And one more thing is, see, the fish size is usually constrained by the size of its tank. But with enough of food and proper uh, water temperature, no, the uh, goldfish can grow big, like balloon only it can grow. Okay. So, many people nowadays know they are interested in this goldfish. So, in house and all in the new house, where they, they keep this, even like Vastu, they keep this, no, yes or no, they have this fish, all these things, okay. So, shall we move on to our poem, My Goldfish, see, before that, there is an activity, pre-reading activity, see, C sounds. This is an action song, very nice, beautiful song, but I can't teach you here, but still, uh, when you come back to school, hopefully, I'll teach there, okay? See, I walked on the beach. Walk means you just to show the walking action, walk, 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 and picked up a shell, uh, that white color, when you take it, if you keep it in your near your ear, the uh, your, you can hear that uh, sea sound. Yes or no? How many of them went to beach? Have you collected this? Even in Kanyakumari beach and all, no? Uh, they will sell these shells. 
in kanyakumari and also in uh, near that um, near that vishagapatnam all this i have seen there uh, you, you, if you go there uh, you can get buy this shells okay so i walked on the beach and picked up a shell and held it close to my ear i walked on the beach and picked up a shell and held it close to my ear and what did i hear roar roar like this sound it makes the sound like this okay okay shall we move on to this uh, poem my goldfish this is a memory poem so you should memorize this um, very important poem so please read and write and see this poem okay all day long he swims around his little home of glass he never smiles he never frowns i watch him pass and pass so the poet who has written this poem this poem was written by john ronald crossword crossland sorry john r crossland john ronald crossland okay see this poet is telling about uh, his pet okay his goldfish how the goldfish at uh, his home of glass home of glass means this aquarium tank see small glass okay in this how that goldfish is swimming uh, so the whole day it is swimming round and round around like spinning uh, like moving round and round okay he never smiles he never frowns never smiles means he never see if we, if we smile at something when we see our friends we immediately what we do we smile but this pet you know it won't smile it seems and also it won't show his angry on his face so this continuously this poet is watching that pass and pass so all day long he swims around his little home of glass he never smiles he never frowns i watch him pass and pass so next turn to the page 66 now see round the globe and round again makes me dizzy watching open mouth then shut again wonder what he's catching so round the globe the globe is in round shape and this uh, glass of, home of glass is also round in shape so it is going on moving round and round round and round you know this makes the uh, poet uh, get dizzy chakra okay sustha uh, sustha uh, agite makes him dizzy watching open mouth then shut again see in this below picture how the goldfish is opening its mouth opening and closing opening and closing wonder what he catching so the poet is asking something he is catching i don't know what he is catching is simply opening and closing opening and closing like that shining like a piece of gold what is shining like a piece of gold see all you always the gold is shining than silver and other things okay see is like that it they uh, it they telling the poet is telling it is bright and shining like the stars star also twinkles yes or no like that this gold fish is also is shining like the stars okay because this is gold in color so i told you already it may be in orange color yellow color or red color like this okay never winking never blinking blinking means opening and closing your eyes winking means something uh, just closing this one eye alone chik chik like that you people do no only one eye is that one is winking round and round the jar okay shining like a piece of gold glistening like a star never winking never blinking round and round the jar 
Next, round the globe and round again. Round eyes, never blinking. Looking very, very wise. Wonder what he's thinking. So initially, the poet was asking what he was. Uh, he was wondering why, what he is catching. Now he is telling that I am wondering what this fish is thinking in their mind. See, this big, big eyes. Uh, it's never blink. Okay, keep always uh, keep opening a uh, full opening the uh, its eyes and moving round and round. Okay, but for outside the poet uh, from outside when he watching this fish, he is telling that the fish looks like very very wise person like wise brilliant. Okay, so that's why he is wondering what he is thinking. Okay, so shall we read once fully? All day long he swims around his little home of glass. He never smiles, he never frowns. I watch him pass and pass round the globe and round again. Makes me dizzy watching. Open mouth, then shut again. Wonder what he's catching. Shining like a piece of gold, glistening like a star. Never winking, never blinking. Round and round the jar. Round the globe and round again. Round eyes, never blinking. Looking very, very wise. Wonder what he's thinking. Okay, this is memory song. And also, I'm going to teach you how to sing. Okay, shall I? See, listen carefully, okay? All day long, he swims around his little home of class. He never smiles, he never frowns. I watch him pass and pass round the globe and round again. Makes me dizzy watching. Open mouth, then shut again. Wonder what he's catching. Shining like a piece of gold, glistening like a star. Never winking, never blinking. Round and round the jar. Round the globe and round again. Round eyes, never blinking, looking very, very wise. Wonder what he's thinking. Wonder what he's thinking. So, this is how. Please practice this. Um, how to sing and uh, if you start to sing practice no it will uh, st uh, restore in your mind okay so it will be easy for you to memorize okay shall we move on to the exercise part see new words frown facial expression of anger pass and pass go round and round DC feel as though everything around you is going round and round, glistening, shining, quivering, shaking slightly, gravely, seriously. Home of glass and aquarium. See, in this home of glasses, in this poem, it is aquarium tank. Okay, okay, move on. Take page number 67, Roman letter 1. What did you see in the home of glass? I see a goldfish in the home of glass. What is it doing? It swims all day long. How is the water? See, actually the water, mo uh, nothing they have written as such uh, about water in the poem. But still, if we uh, think like see, uh, what uh, this uh, fish is swimming all around, you know, round, round. Maybe that water also spins or maybe like that. But... Uh, exact answer they didn't talk about water in this poem so i didn't attend that uh, question um, what do you understand by looking very very wise it's brilliant okay so roman letter 2a it's just a complete the sentence so uh, look in this page number 66 the first paragraph and the second paragraph two lines alone okay um, it is given here 
the dash around the again so you should uh, copy this from page number 66 okay uh, from that first paragraph and the second paragraph only one and two lines round the globe and round again makes me dizzy watching open mouth and shut again wonder what he's catching shining like a piece of gold glistening like a star and b uh, write the answers to the following questions in the notebook what is the poem about the poem is about a goldfish where is the goldfish the goldfish is in the home of glass what is watching the goldfish who is watching the goldfish the poet is watching the goldfish why does he feel dizzy the goldfish swims in a circular motion round and round so it made the poet feel dizzy on watching it mm. turn the page page number 68 see roman letter 3 for example they have given glass pass both the words end with the sound yes their ending sounds are similar these are called rhyming words so roman a now find at least four more pairs of such words from the poem and write them down so the answer is watching catching star jar blinking thinking glass pass okay so b write four more pairs of your own rhyming words wise nice prawn prawn gold hold around ground okay Roman letter 4a. Can you see these pictures? See here you have so many features. See here. Can you see this? There is a uh, starfish here. See here. Shell is here. And here one fish is here. Mm. Dolphins also there. See big dolphin big one big dolphin here okay so find out see here below this here you have this here uh, sea horses there so you should identify that and color different different colors beautifully you color this and write down the names below here in one one each box you write that names okay the starfish dolphin and all these things you write below in the box okay color it beautifully this is your homework next so finally what they have written is in t uh, teamwork c is in teamwork divide yourself into two groups repeat the poem the first line by the first group and the second line for by the second group so enjoy the recitation see this is our old old rhymes how many of them remember this shall we sing one, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Very good. This is the old rhymes. Okay. Next, Roman letter five. Pretending. Pretending means as though uh, I'm uh, as though I'm a parrot. As though uh, I'm pretending means uh, you you want to act like that person, or if you want to act like another one. Okay, pretending to have. Even if you don't have the book with you, suppose pretending like that as though you are having the book. If you don't write the homework, pretending like as though you have completed that homework uh, like that. It's fun to be this. It's fun to be that. To leap like a lamb. To climb like a cat. To hop like a frog. To swim like a fish. 
to trot like a horse, to jump like a dog. It's fun to pretend these creatures to be, yet not one is clever at copying me. So, this is a small uh, rhymes like um, how the person like uh, human beings maybe he is telling uh, how whether this animals all can't pretend like me but I can pretend like them. Uh, okay. The recap of this uh, my goldfish the poet is explaining about the goldfish and how it swims uh, it is swimming round and round all the day in his home of glass its home of glass is the its aquarium tank and uh, continuously watching of this um, what happened to the poet the poet is feeling dizzy okay so the goldfish is looking very uh, bright and shining and it um, opens its mouth and close regularly eh? and the poet is thinking that what he is catching we do not know eh? then what another thing is uh, it is opening his eyes like blinking and winking and also it look is look shows that it, it is very very wise ok hard words frown watching, blinking, catching, winking, glistening, shining, wonder, quivering, gravely. So, homework, write the hard words five times, read and write the poem three times, write the question and answers three times, which one it is not the oral answers, ok, which you have to copy it in the classwork, that question answers only four question answers is there write the new words that is meaning just below the um, poem that from uh, all this uh, new words write that and study okay thank you children see you in the another new class